Okay, so what are the other uh, things we learnt in this chapter so far in indices? Uh, we learnt some laws, right? Yes, a power of n times a power of n equals to a plus a n plus. Ah, oh, okay. Then. Uh, then uh, a n over uh, minus. A N M minus A N. M minus N, right? Yes. Then what did we learn? Yeah, A to the power M right. over to the power N is equal to A times N M times N. M times N, yeah. And we also learned that A to the power zero is equal to uh, one. One, okay. Okay, now this is the last topic in this chapter, fractional indices. So um okay first of all you, you need to understand that a to the power 1 by n is equal to nth root of a okay so you read this as nth root of a um so let's understand what that means um okay let's say uh, let's say you do 2 2 times 2 times 2 what do you get? Uh, 2 power of 3. Yeah, yeah, and uh, 2 to the power 3, and that's 8, right? Yes. Uh, and then we say that cube root of 8 is equal to 2. 2. Right. Yes. Uh, um, 6 squared is 36. You say that uh, square root of 36 is? Square root of 36 uh, is? 6. 6, yeah. So, um, let's take another example. Let's do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's 3 to the power 4, right? Yes. What's the number? Uh... 81 okay so you say that 4 4th root of 81 is 3 so instead of writing 4th root of 81 you can also write 81 to the power 1 by 4 okay and instead of writing uh, let's say cube root of 8 you can write 8 to the power to the power uh, two, three. 1 by 3 okay so 8 to the power 1 by 3 means cube root of 8 and uh, 81 to the power 1 by 4 means uh, fourth root of 81 okay so a to the power 1 by n means nth root of a okay now the second uh, law is that a to the power m by n see a to the power m by n uh, you can actually write this as uh, a to the power m times 1 by n right yes. because m m by yes. n is the same as m times 1 by n right so this is actually a to the power m whole to the power 1 by n, right? Yes. So, uh, a, so this is a to the power m uh, to the power 1 by n means it's the nth root of uh, a power of m a to the power m yes nth root of a to the power m so that is how you get this part okay so a to the power m by n is the same as uh, nth root of a to the power m okay now uh, you can also write this as uh, see instead of uh, writing it like this 
you can also write it like this a to the power 1 by n times m right instead of m times 1 by n you can also write this as 1 by n times m right yes. so this is actually a to the power of 1 by n whole raised to m right So, a to the power 1 by n means what? Uh, a nth, uh, nth root. Uh, nth root of uh, nth root of a. So, this whole raised to m, right? Yes. So, you can write a, a to the power m by n in two ways. You can either write that as uh, a to the power m, uh, sorry, nth root of a to the power m, or uh, nth root of a to the power m. Okay. So the bracket is if there's one over n. Sorry. The bracket. Which bracket? Uh, the this yeah this bracket this means uh, this bracket is applicable for the whole thing like and uh, in, inside the bracket you have nth root of a okay so for this this is a to the power m uh, nth root of a to the power n uh, nth root of a to the power m okay. see uh, okay you don't need to worry about these too much uh, because uh, when you do problems you'll find that it's easy okay uh, so let's do some problems um, evaluate the following without the use of a calculator okay so let's do the first one 16 to the power 1 by 2 so this is like a to the power 1 by n right mm, yes. so a to the power 1 by n means nth root of a from this law right so 16 to the power 1 by 2 means uh, uh, root of cube root no it is it is square root square, square root, root of 16, 16. right yeah so uh, what is square root of 16 uh, square root of 16 what uh, times what is 16? 8. 8 times 8 is 16? No. 4. 4. 4. 4, yeah. So, square root of 16 is 4. Okay. Then, how about 25 to the power 1 by 2? This means square root of 25, right? How much is square root of 25? What number? Uh, 5. Do you multiply? Ah, yes. So, square root of 25 is 5. Then, how about C? Uh, 100 uh, square root of 100 hmm. uh, 10 10 times 10 10 okay then D uh, E a D 27. square root of 27 is it square root of 27? A cube root of 27. Cube root of 27, yes. So what's cube three, root of? 3 times 3. 3, very good. So that's three times. Yes. What about uh, this one? 81 to the power 1 by 2. So that's square root of 81, right? Uh, yes. No. 
9 is the right answer. Then, 1000 to the power 1 by 3. 1000 to the power 1 by 3 means cube root of cube root of 10 cube root of 1000 ah. equals to 10 yes so that's how you do fractional indices let's do some more 16 to the power 1 by 4 16 to the power 1 by 4 So that's fourth root of fourth root of uh, sixteen. Sixteen. So see if you don't get this uh, uh, mentally, if you can't do this, what what do you need to do? You need to do the prime factorization of sixteen. Okay. Okay. Sixteen by two is eight. Eight by two is Four. Four by two is two. You know prime factorization, right? Yes. So you stop when you get one, right? Yes. So you can write sixteen equals two into two into two into two. Right. Yes. Sixteen. So what is the fourth root of sixteen? So what number 16. what number when multiplied by itself four times will give you two. sixteen? Two. Two, right. So this is two. Got it. Yes. Fine. Uh how about B? Eighty one to the power one by four. This is actually what is it? Uh, four cube root, four root of uh, eighty-one. Yeah, so it's fourth root. Fourth root of eighty-one, right? Yes. So what is the fourth root of eighty-one? See, if you can't do it mentally, what do you do? You factorize it. So what's the Smallest prime factor that can divide 81. Oh, eight, eight, 3. Seven. 3. 27. 27. Then. 27, 3. Okay. Three, 9, right? Nine. Yes. 3, 3. Hmm. So, 81 is 3, three times. to the power 4, right? Yes. So, what is 4th root of 81? Uh, 3 4th root of 81 is uh, 3 Understood, right? Yes Okay, how about C? Can you do that on your own? 32 to the power 1 by 5 uh, no. 5 root of 32 uh, 32 to the power 1 by 5 is 5th root of 32, which is? Uh, power of 2. No, just 2. 5th two. root of 32 is 2. Okay. Uh, how about uh, 64 to the power 1 by 6? Mm -hmm. uh, 6th root of 64. 6th root of 64. Uh, equals to 2 equal to 2 okay very good then 216 raised to 1 by 3 216 raised to 1 by 3 means 216 raised to 1 by 3 means means what uh, 3 cube root of 216 cube root of 216 to See, 2 is not right. Cube root of 8 is 2, right? 
just try multiplying 4 times 4 times 4. Is it is it 2 and 6? No. Uh, 6. Yeah, 6 is the right answer. So, this answer is 6. Now, what if you just can't get the number mentally? You do prime factorization, right? Yes. So, how do you do? Uh, you can divide by 2. So, there will be 108, right? Yes. Then you have 2 again. So, 54, right? Yes. You can do with, uh, yeah, with 2. So, that's 27. Then 3, 9, 3, 3. three. So you can write 216 equals 216 equals 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. So what's the cube root of 216? Cube root of 216 will be see for a, for any number that that appears 3 3 times yeah you take you take one one of that number then you have three threes here, so just put one three. So that will be your cube root. Six. Two times three is six. Okay, now four to the power three by two. Sorry. Four to the power three by two. Three by two. two. So how do you do this? You can either do you can either do four to the power three to the power 1 by 2 okay or or you can do 4 to the power 1 by 2 4 to the power 1 by 2 times 2 times 3 yeah to the power 3 right mm -hmm. so uh, Let's do the first one. What is 4 to the power 3? 4 to the power 3 means 4 into 4 into 4. How much is that? 64. 64 to the power 1 by 2 is? Uh, 2 uh, square root of 64. Square root of 64. What's that? 8 See, it's a good idea to learn the squares of numbers up to Yeah, I would recommend 25 Just try learning those squares, okay? It will it will speed up your calculations So, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 And so on Learn it up to 25 square, okay? And also learn the cubes, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, up to 10 cube. Okay, you can just, you know, write down the numbers correctly. Like find all these cubes or squares and write them down and learn them by heart. Okay. okay. Fine. Um, yeah, so the, sec the second way to do it is 4 to the power 1 by 2 whole to the power 3, right? Yes. See, all this is coming from where? It's coming from the, the law we just learned, right? What was the law we just learned? A to the power m by n is A to the power m whole to the power 1 by n or nth root of A to the power m or it is a, uh, sorry, nth root of A whole raised to M. Okay. So, okay, here it is 4 to the power 1 by 2 uh, whole raised to 3. So, 4 to the power 1 by 2 means what? Uh, square root of 4. Square root of 4. Square root of 2. So, square root of 4 equal to 2. So, 2 cube. 2 cube is? Uh, 
16. 2 cube. 2 cube. Uh, 8. 8. So, you get the same answer. Of course, you should get the same answer, right? Now, can you try the f the second one? 4 to the power 5 by 2. See, you can do this. Yeah, you can do this in two ways. Yeah, oh, either it is 4 to the power 1 by 2, whole to the power 5. Or it is four to the power five to the power one over two. One over two, right? Yes. Okay, let's do the first one. Four, four to the power one by two means what? Uh, four bracket. Root 4. Root 4. Yes. Yes. Root 4. So, how much is root 4? 2. Root 4 is 2. So, it's the same as 2 to the power 5, right? Yes. And what's 2 to the power 5? 32. 32. Very good. So, that's your answer. Or you can do it like 4 to the power 5 and then square root. So, 4 to the power 5 would be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Now that's going to be a big number, right? Yes. So let's let's not do it this way, okay? Because obviously this is more time consuming, right? Okay, so that's how you do fractional indices. Uh, let's do a few more. Okay, how do you do in, uh, this one? C. 9 to the power 3 by 2. 9 to the power 3 by 2. So, uh, mm, uh, cube root 9. Cube root? No, 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 square root of 9. Square root of 9? Um, square root of 9. Bracket 3. Get power of 3. Power of 3. Very good. So, that will be? Uh, 3. 3. 2. 3. 3 power of 3. 3 power of 3. Yes. 3 power of 3. 27. 27. Okay. Uh, what is the other way to do it? Uh, nine, uh, cube root, cube root, no, no, five power of, uh, no, nine power of three, nine power of bracket. three, bracket, one over two, one over two, very good, so that's, what's nine power of three? Uh, 9 to the power 3 is how much? Just multiply. Uh, Eighty-one times 9, right? Yes. So that's 9. 729, right? Yes. So this is 729 to the power 1 by 2. Which means root of? 7 to 9. 7 to 9. Okay, you may not, you know, I, I know, know the value of this root straight away. So, what do we do? Uh, prime factorize. Prime factorize. So, if you divide by 3, you get what? 2, 4, 3, right? Mm. Then 3 again. So, 80. Uh, 81, right? 
then three again twenty seven three again how much nine three again three times one okay so how do you find the square root of seven twenty nine three times three times two yeah so you just take uh, look for uh, factors that repeat that repeat in in sets of 2 right yes so and from each set of 2 you take one out of those so you have a 3 here you have a 3 here and you have a 3 here right So that's three times three times three or twenty-seven, right? So you get the same answer. Okay. So for all these fractional indices, there are two ways to solve it, or to find the value. You have two ways, and uh, you'll probably see that one of the ways is easier. Okay. So you just understand which one is easier to practice. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll do one more. Let's do this. Uh, let's do. do uh, let's do F. Okay. Okay. How do you do uh, F? Uh, two. Yeah, Twenty-seven. Power of three. Twenty-seven. Cube root three. Yeah. So it's like. To the power one by three, whole to the power two, right? Yes. So that's cube root of twenty-seven to the power. Uh, power of two. Power of two. Yes. What is cube root of twenty-seven? Uh, three. Three. So that's three to the power of two, which is. Nine, nine, very good. So you got the idea, right? Yes. Okay, let's do all this very, very quick. Let's do A. Uh, three times cube root of one twenty five. Cube root of one twenty five. Uh, power of two. Power of cube. Yeah. Cube. What is cube root of one twenty five? Five. Five. Yeah. What is five to the power two? Uh, twenty. Five. Twenty five. Okay, that's correct. Then uh, how about B? Thirty two to the power three by five. So five root of thirty-two. Fifth root. Say fifth root. Fifth root, fifth. Fifth root of thirty-two to the power. Uh, power. Uh, power of three. Yes. Fifth root of thirty-two means what number when multiplied by itself five times. Will give you thirty-two. What number? Two. two, two, right? Yeah. So this is two cubed, right? Yes. Two cubed means eight. Ah, oh, very good. So it it is a good idea to remember some powers of two also, right? Like two to the power one is always two. Two to the power two is power two is Two to the power three is uh, eight. Two to the power four is sixteen. Two to the power five. Uh, What is F? I'll do F. Uh, cube root. No, no. Four root of 
fourth root of eighty one. Ah. Uh, bracket thirty. Fourth root of eighty one. Ah, three. To the power three. Yes. Wow, very good. Three to the power three. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Very good. Then. Ah, okay. Now we have these. Uh, what do you call these equations? Yes, exponential. Exponential equations. Very good. Exponential equation. Okay. Can you solve the first one? Uh, times x. Bracket. X. Yes. Equal to four. Equal to four. Okay. Then uh, uh, four to power of two x. Ah, very good. Four to the power two x is four. Four means four to the power one, right? One, yes. So cancel. Yeah, you can say two x equal to one. Right. Then x equals to two one over two. One over two, very good. Then how about b? Two power of uh, bracket two power of three bracket x x equals to two. Uh, eight uh, to the power x means two cube. Uh, okay, then 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 uh, x equal to two equals to uh, one over three. One over three, very good. Yes. See, you can do on your own. Can you do? Can you do F? Uh, two. Uh, two bracket six times x. Uh, two to the power six whole raised to x. Equal to two. Okay. Six x equals to one. X equals to one over six. Very good. Uh, how about uh, d? Uh, three times uh, three power of three bracket x. Three power three. Whole raised to x equal to three, right? Yes. Three uh, so three x equals to one. So x equals to one over three. Very good. Can you try a? Uh, Ten power of three. Yes, one thousand means ten to the power three. So that's ten to the power three raised to, to, to ten. Very good. Actually, one one hour. Similarly, you can do everything, right? Yes. Uh, let's do D. Seven power of three. Ah, oh, very good. So three forty-three is seven cubed, right? So yes. seven cubed. So seven raised to three x is equal to seven. So x is equal to three over one over three. One over three, right? Equal to one. Then, uh, how about e? Six. Yes. X equals to one over six. One over six, right? Yes. Very good. Then, what about F? Uh, uh, six cube. Six power of three. Six power of three. Whole power of x. Six. X equals one over three. One over three. Very good. Okay. 